Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here and I'm back for another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered and in today's episode we're going to be working our way through Laguna's second dream and also we're going to be setting up a few things for later uh, while we're here. So without further ado let's get on into it. So uh, I accidentally stepped over the first speech bubble but I can remember what it said so you sure this is the place? Positive. I don't want to be patrolling the wrong place like last time. Ah, uh, sorry, this ain't the place. This, this is it. Let's go, Commander. I brought the wrong map. Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, we'll go with, nah, it's just my imagination. Doesn't really matter which one you go for, to be honest. Nah, everything's cool. Hey, make sure you, you guys are equi uh, fully equipped. Well, we're on duty, let's get on, uh, move on and check things out. So, first of all, we'll do just that. access to the magic do I? Alright then. So there's a sleep draw point that we can obtain from here. So we'll have a couple of forced encounters with some uh, Ether soldiers shortly. But seriously, this place sure is strange. What the heck is this big pile of rocks? You think there's, uh, these are natural rocks used for carving tombstones? Who knows? Speaking of strange, why have you been running around so strange? Strange? What do you mean strange? Just being cautious, that's the basic rule of the... Hey, looks like we got company. Ether soldiers. Still wearing those flashy uniforms. Laguna, don't be such weenies. What the? Now, if you're trying to keep your levels low, I suggest using the break spell here. Uh, we don't have it, and to be honest, I'm not too fussed about my levels at this point. Um, Wasn't our mission just a patrol? Why does it have to turn out like this? Seriously? I wasn't expecting this. Uh, let's pull out a GF and finish this quickly, shall we? Of the forced encounters for now. There's more coming. There's no end to this. Better make a run for it. Right then, so we'll take the right path first of all. Huh? A ladder, guys. It's a ladder. Let's. Looks like it leads down. So yeah, we want to make our way down the ladder. 
So I'm gonna speed things up a little bit here. And I'm gonna turn no encounters on for a moment as well. My leg cramped up. Phew, it's fine now. I'm so out of shape. Gotta stretch before I exercise. That last battle we had doesn't really count as exercise. What? Did you say something? Uh, no. <laughs> right, so our first stop leads us here. And you can't actually see the item on the floor, but yes, we want to pick it up. I feel daft. I uh, feel a draft on my butt. There's a hole in my back pocket. So Laguna's dropped the key. Now we're going to make our way through into the next area and continue on across. And... Uh, if we want to... Yeah, it's that one we want. We're going to tamper with this middle one first of all. If we use this stubborn ether, fool won't be able to come after us. What the heck are you up to? Something stupid again, I bet. You guys, you're going to regret saying that. They say one who makes fun of a genius will end up crying in the end. So who's the genius? Eh, just shut up. So if we just loosen it a bit more, when they come after us from that side and... Yes! You guessed it, they'll walk over it without expecting a thing. And all of a sudden, whoops, and down they go. I have to admit, I really am a genius. <laughs> like the other soldiers are really going to fall for this trap. We won't know until we try and those who never try will never know. So I'm going to do it. Just remember if we tamper with the lever we won't be able to make it back to the other side. It'd be idiotic to fall for, for our own trap. Yeah we'll tamper with it. Right then. So now we want to make our way back to the top. Oops. And what we're doing at the moment will also decrease the amount of forced encounters we have later on. So here we are at the fork in the road. The left path leads to nothing. The right path to a confused draw point, which you want to give to whichever is your strongest magic user. And then the middle path is the one that we want. And then we want to engage with the old key again over this side. This time it's in my shirt pocket, so ha! Uh, achoo! No, not again! And he's managed to lose it again. But don't worry, it's all in the script. Oh well, nothing cheaper than something free. Nothing cheaper than something free? What? It's something I said. Come on, let's go. And the reason for those keys is it will allow us to access a very powerful magic draw point later called Ultima. So I'm just trying to see if I can get it to... Hang on, let me turn three times speed off a second. So we should be able to mess with the latch here. Ah, oh, there we go. So, yep, we want to tamper with this one as well. I know I've stopped reading some of the uh, the script. Um, that's just purely because my vocal cords are starting to go a little bit. Right, now we'll make our way back up. And now we want to make our way back down this ladder. Actually, we can grab the draw point again as well while we're at it. 
all go towards the trophy. For God's sake, get on the ladder. There we go. And then finally, we want to make our way back through here again one last time. And we're going to try to tamper with this one as well now. Come on, let me tamper with it. Thing won't tamper come on ah there we go so here goes tamper with it right then so now we want to make our way back through and this time we want to make our way up here into the next area and we'll continue working our way up through to the next device so this is a detonator with two fuses attached to it. The heck is this? A blue and red switch and two fuses? A detonator, you know. Oh, I get it. The short blue fuse is for that boulder and the long red fuse is for the boulder further down. Hey man, are you crazy? You don't even know how powerful that thing will be. Ah, I bet it's not all that. The detonator is right here, so as long as we stay behind it, we'll be all right. Well, I guess so. Let's see. So we want to press the red one first. The bomb blast won't reach us here. Just stay put. What? And that opens one of the two remaining hatches. That was awfully loud. Lucky we were here. Wasn't it? Wasn't that me who said that? Uh -huh. uh huh. Anyway, we're all still alive, right? Now we want to engage it again, only this time we want to press the blue one. It's gonna blow! Run for it! Down goes the second boulder. And that opens the third hatch. That was awfully quiet. I was expecting a blast of some sort. See, I told you, I told you it wasn't all that powerful. Right, so now we can make our way up here into this very colourful scenery area. And we want to push this boulder out of the way because there's a draw point underneath it. Goon's got a brilliant sense of humour. Now, by moving this boulder out of the way, it will give us access to a speed scroll later on. So for now, we'll make our way up through here. And providing you've done everything I've just done... Whoops, I did not mean to uh, skip past that speech bubble. I do apologise. Uh, providing you've done everything I've just done, you should only have two encounters here. Of all the worst possible... Predicaments. Unfortunately, because these ones are forced encounters, break will not work on them. Oh, okay, we only have one battle. So once you uh, kill the first one and get this one down to death, you'll cast well, use Soul Crush and we'll reduce two of your characters to just a mere one HP left, as you've just seen.
Look, the ocean. We're saved. Lady Luck is on our side. We can escape to Galabida. One would say we've been run down. That's what they'd normally say. Don't say that. It might come true. Didn't your grandmother tell you that? If you say something bad, it will come true. Yeah, I think she did. Ugh. What did you say? I think his throat was injured. He lost his voice. It was funny. Say again. It was fun, you guys. Laguna Kairos, it was fun. Well, that's way uncool. It's not cool to say things like that. Just for that, you're getting the uh, coochie coochie treatment. Hey, how's that, huh? Want more? Well, and at this point, Ward has now completely lost his voice. He no longer speaks. Hmm. Check it out. A boat. We're getting on. A vessel, they'd normally call it. Boat, vessel, whatever. We're going back to Galabida. You guys sure have guts. You know how high this cliff is? Oh shit! No! And with that we are now back in the forest. Was it Laguna again? Oh, damn it. If it were just me, I could tell the others it was only a crazy dream. Well, we'll just be wasting our time trying to figure it out. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's go. I think we're almost there. Mm, Squall, I think I may have said too much. I'm sorry. Forget about it. Okay, so then from here we want to make our way into Galavida. Oops. Right, so we want to make our way down through here. Sure is quiet. I like it. Could you leave this one up to me? I've been here several times and I know the headmaster pretty well. I'll go and explain our situation. So we'll go ahead and make our way through here. And here's our save point, and that's where I'm going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll pick things up next time where we will conquer Galabita Garden, and we'll be obtaining all the, I believe it's the level 6 cards. So I hope you'll join me for that. But for now, I bid you all farewell. Bye-bye for now.